Hello and welcome to the 14th video. In the late in the last video we added a power up which shields us from our spikes. We also had two timers we had random power ups and random spikes. In this video we're gonna fix the problem that appears when we remove one coin as you will see now all of the coins will disappear for just a little second. Look at the corner and now this disappear from us. So we're gonna fix that and we're also gonna animate the player. When he jumps, we're gonna change his sprite, and when he falls, we're also gonna change his sprite. So let's get start started. We're gonna start by fixing our problem with the drawings. We remove something. We're gonna go into our game view, and down here where we remove them, remove them. We're gonna set. And down here where we remove them, we're gonna set else if, and we're not gonna break them. So really only one of these can occur at the time. Because if we break, if we break the loop, the other objects won't get drawn. For that, for that step, sorry. As you can see, the other doesn't disappear anymore. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna Now we have drawn the awesome animation. Here is the running part. This is the falling part, and this is going to be the jumping part. So we're going to go into our player class. Then we're going to get down here. We have some code from our coin drawing part. We are also going to modify this. I'm gonna set this to 52 times times animation animation plus animation plus plus 52 copy our main current frame Animation plus equals to zero. And it's done with perfect state. This can actually be the state of our player if it's jumping or falling, etc. So basically, we're going to go to our update file. I'm going to here. Uh, switch animations. A new void. Hey, current frame plus plus. This is going to be more messy than I thought it would, but. Incoming lift and our column lift is going to be four at the moment. That's not what we're going to shoot for. Current animation list animation column. I'm going to set that to save it for now. So, 
this animation state I think we call it. Relief state. No, we call it animation state. It means animation state. Equals to zero. But this is gonna be on running when we run. Four sprites. Else, oof. animation state equal to one. Then we're gonna set different frame to the zero. This is when we are falling. Endurance frame equals zero. And then we should call them zero. And if this animation state is one, we can accept animation is equal to one. Animation plus, and we're going to remove the animation position y. Animation plus y plus root two. Let's say if um, animation state equals to two, and current frame equals to one, since we would get the x axis, this is the part of our current frame O, and this two. When we have animation plus y set to 1, it's going to be down here. And when the current frame is 0, oh, it's going to be here. If the animation plus y is 1 and our current frame is 1, it's going to be this point. So when we're falling, animation state, we set animation plus y to 1. And animation column equal to 0. Animation column. Now we're gonna need to actually shape which statement it is. So animation state. I should we call that before we switch animation. This is the word when we're gonna change the state. So, animation. If we are jumping over, the speed is gonna be less than zero because we're moving upwards. We're gonna set, set our animation state equal to two. Because if, if it's more than zero, that means we are falling. We're gonna set it to the falling animation, which is one. Animation state one. If none of these, we're going to set it to animation states, well, which is running. So this is the result we're getting. <laughs> As you can see, it's pretty weird. So we're going to have to tweak it a bit more, but it's animated. And if we jump, it changes. And when we fall, it changes back to another sprite. And the reason to why we're running so high up is because we set it to the height to our BMP, but get heights. Since we increased our height by 2, we're gonna divide it by 2. And we take M column height. That's gonna be 2. I believe we are, but we <laughs> cannot see it because we are drawn our sprite, our sprite incorrectly. So we're gonna try and tweak by doing this. And 
Grazie. In the case when we change our animation state to here when we check if it's is this zero, we set the animation position y to zero. I believe this is the part of the code that I just stood up. Let's try and run the game once again. So I managed to fix the problem with animation by changing some in the source code. Just gonna remove this. I implemented, I implemented a variable called in source y and I set it to the animation plus y times 48. It's one, dot, one and a half times higher than our sprite. And by experimenting, I finally found what works. Could you guys come back and leave a comment below if this works for you? If not, we will have to find a new solution for this problem. But right now, everything works as it should. The animation looks really crappy, but that's the lack of my drawing skills. Everything works, the coins doesn't redraw themselves, all of the coins doesn't redraw themselves when I destroy one. Let's just see to be checked once again to be sure. No, it looks right, they, all of them doesn't redraw, that's good. For the next video, I am thinking about creating some kind of achievement, like when you reach a certain score or a high score, or maybe collect some coins. I might display a picture over here if you have unlocked the achievement. Of course, later on, we, we will have to have menus for this thing when we have more achievements, but for now, we don't really need it. So, we're just gonna create an achievement. So, thank you all for watching. This was all for this video. Please leave a comment below, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, have a nice day, bye bye.